Welcome to a new vlog. If you are new here, my name is Kim. This fall, I will be a second grade teacher in West Michigan, and I just got back from about a week long vacation. And that means I haven't been in my classroom for the last week because, you know, I've been on vacay mode. <laughs> but I'm sitting outside of my school right now and I thought it would be fun to take you with me as I go in and check out my room. I'm very anxious to see if they're all done cleaning the floors. If they are all done cleaning the floors, that means that hopefully this upcoming week I'll be able to begin my classroom setup, which I'm super excited for. So I thought it'd be fun to just go inside, take a peek together, see how it's looking, and then maybe share with you some ideas for how I'm planning on setting up my classroom. So let's go ahead and go inside and see what it is looking like. All right, off we go. <laughs> Okay, there are big fans going in the hallway leading up to my room, which seems not super promising. So let's see. Here we go. Nice. Hey, they started to move my stuff. Let's see what it's looking like in here. Oh, and they started to move my stuff in here too. Okay, let's see. Oh, nice. Okay, it doesn't look like, I don't think they cleaned the floor yet. But, well, maybe they did. I can't really tell. I don't think they cleaned the floor yet. But it does look like they moved some stuff so nice oh interesting i have like all the chairs up against the wall over here so it looks like they moved all my chairs my chairs are over there they left my bookshelf which i actually did not cover it so hopefully that's okay oh and they moved chairs into my back room too so yeah it's looking like no classroom setup anytime probably at the beginning of this next week at least because I definitely don't think they clean the floors like I feel like I'd be able to tell if they clean the floors I got a couple things from Target yesterday so I'm gonna just go ahead and set those down I'll share those with you in just a moment but this is what the room is looking like kind of from like the front area so you can see it all oh it looks like I have some cleaner and stuff on top of my books interesting so my classroom setup dreams may have been squashed just a little bit, but that's okay. It's like crazy to see I'm the room like so empty. Like I feel like right now, obviously the room looks like humongous and I'm not going to say that the room is like super small because it's definitely not super small, but I also don't think it's like humongous either. I'd say this is like a very normal size classroom for my district. So yeah interesting okay we're gonna peek out in the hallway one more time it looks like they tried to move my stuff down here so i don't know if maintenance did that or if the custodial staff did that but it looks like my stage is right there and then uh, one of my bookshelves is right there and i don't know i can't remember if i asked them to move anything else out so oh yeah okay so it looks like they signed off on what they've done so far so interesting so it looks like the floor hasn't been waxed yet interesting okay so still stuff to do but that's okay okay so i don't think i'm going to be able to start setting up for the next couple of weeks but that's totally fine i've been seeing classroom setup videos on youtube which i think has made me just really like giddy and excited to set up a new room but i also need to understand that i am on a different timeline than other people i know a lot of people go back to school earlier than i do and so it's totally fine life is good and this will give me some extra time to really make a concrete plan for what i want the classroom to look like so i think what i'm going to do in just a moment is actually just walk you around on my phone because i think that might be a little bit steady Year, and I did get a new phone last week so that's super exciting I got the iPhone 12 Pro and I've been loving it so far I had the 6 or the 7 I forget 6 or 7 plus and so this has been a huge upgrade already and the camera quality is like way better and stuff so I've really been enjoying that so I think I'm gonna just walk you around the room and talk to you about what I'm thinking so far for what's gonna go like on each bulletin board and stuff like that so let's go ahead and do that now so I'm gonna switch over here and I'll see you in a moment <laughs> okay so now I'm switched over to my phone so the sound might sound a little bit different and like camera quality and stuff but that's totally fine 
Over here, I have these built-in cabinets. Super excited about those. And I also have mailboxes over here. So I know it's kind of hard to see around the desks, but I probably will do my like turn-in bins over there. And then I have like a really cool small bulletin board back there. So I might do just like reminders on there or like a calendar, or I could post like our meals or something like what's coming up on our school lunch calendar or whatever. So I have a lot of different options for that space. And then yes, right now I just have those cabinets like completely full. I think I'm gonna zoom out actually. So I have those cabinets completely full right now with just a bunch of different stuff, but eventually I will organize them. Over here, I have this bulletin board, which I haven't taken down yet. On this bulletin board, I think I'll probably put wow work on here. So just like standout work and stuff like that. Then over here, I'm like somewhat tempted to put a mirror right here and then have this be my affirmation station. Selfishly, I think that would look really cool too because if I have the mirror right here, then you'd see this in the background and I'm gonna do my wood wall back there. So I think it would just like look really good for pictures, which I know is not like the best reason, but you know, selfishly, I think that would look cool. But then also it would be nice because I just love having the affirmations available for my students. So it'd be nice to have those like in a high traffic area. Otherwise though, I could put maybe a bookshelf right here or something like that and that would work really well too this is my teacher space back here ignore everything that's going on on my desk right now but yes teacher space back here i'm thinking i could put like my teacher manuals right there or i could also put like my read aloud of the day or of the week or whatever and then up above i'm definitely going to organize that better i don't know exactly what's going to go on that top shelf but probably like teacher pd books maybe or i'm not really sure we'll have to wait and see but i know it will be organized a lot better than it is right now then i have my teacher toolbox box over here and then that little um, like cabinet, I guess. I'm not really sure. Closet right there. And then I have this big bulletin board. This one is really, really big over here. Now here's my thinking though. Even though it's really big, it's not really going to be easily seen by my students because my monitor like cuts off about halfway through. And so I would need something on here that either doesn't need to be changed a whole lot or that students aren't like referencing often. So I might put like goals at the top, like our learning goals at the top, and then maybe some like little references at the bottom. I haven't exactly decided and then this is kind of weird because I have like my true whiteboard over here But then I have this like off-white whiteboard So what I did in my old classroom is I made that into another bulletin board so I can cover that with fabric And then I think I might have that be a bulletin board and put our weekly schedule on there or Like daily schedule on there and then maybe put like our star tickets or whatever like I have all of these Different shelves so I could use those these are actually just magnetic spice racks and I seriously love them so so yes, I could potentially use those on here as well. And then of course my whiteboard will just stay a whiteboard. Above here I have a, um, I almost said number line, but I have a, what do you call that, alphabet. <laughs> and somebody commented and said that that's from a curriculum, but it is not a curriculum that we use. So I'm guessing the previous teacher maybe had it from another district or found it at the thrift store or something, but we actually don't use that curriculum. So I don't need to keep those um cards if i don't want to i might like keep them in storage or something but i'm gonna put up some cute ones that i bought off tpt and then i have another little bulletin board over here i'm tempted to have this be like a sound wall bulletin board over here or something like book or literacy related maybe even writing i'm not entirely sure and then this little cubby i want to have this be the book nook so i bought a little like what do you call it canopy thing off of oh, oh not off of amazon i almost did that but i actually bought it off uh or from <laughs> five below so i bought a little canopy that will go down here i'm gonna stick a bookshelf back there i think and that will be super fun and cute this is the i think heating element perhaps i'm not exactly sure what this is right here to be honest but it is magnetic so that's kind of nice so i can stick some stuff to that if i need to over here i have classroom library stuff again as we talked about in the last video it will be better organized of course like when it's closer to the school year but for now it just kind of is what it is so we are surviving and then over here i'm going to have some built-in storage type things at the bottom I think this bulletin board I'm gonna have be my sound wall. I'm pretty sure because it's a nice big one. And I decided I wanna do a sound wall instead of a word wall because I've just like read a lot of research about how it's beneficial to students and it's more like student centered versus teacher centered. And so I think that's the game plan there. So that will be a sound wall. And then this will be my small group station over here. So this left whiteboard left for me right now, I think I will just leave blank so that way I can use it with my students. But then the right one, I kind of wanna 
to have that be our wonder wall space. So I read a really good book recently. It's called The Curious Classroom. I will pop it up on the screen right here. And they talked about having a wonder wall in your classroom, like things that students are researching that they've chosen. And so I think it would be cool to put like a wonder wall um, header right there and then maybe put each of the kids names or pictures and then that way they can research whatever they would like to research in their free time. So kind of just a cool idea. And then this back wall will also be my wood wall. So I'm going to cover that with wood right now. It's like, I think it's like a tablecloth that's on there right now or a few different tablecloths. So I'm going to tear those down and then put up my wood paper. And then over here, I haven't gotten the go ahead if we're allowed to have couches or not, but if we are, I'm going to cover those two blue spots probably with black paper. And then I also have some like green, like greenery type paper. I might be able to put on the top ones or I could cover it all with black potentially. We'll have to wait and see. And then I wanna put my couch in front of there and maybe have like some hanging plants or something. I think that would look really cool. Like fake hanging plants like over in that area. I just think that would look really neat. So I might do that. And then if I don't end up having the affirmation station, on that wall right there then I'm thinking I might have it on this wall right here and I don't know if I need to leave this door as something we can open or not right now it opens into another second grade room I think I push it so this is another second grade room right here of course it's dark right now but yes this is another second grade room and it would be nice to be able to open it and like have that option so I think when I put up my wall um, like my wood paper wall, then I probably will kind of leave it cut out like it is right now, even though I don't love how it looks. I know it's not about how it looks, it's about the functionality. So I don't know, I could put the affirmation station right there though, like on that door, and then it might look a little bit better that it has like a frame or whatever. And then the back room, you know what? We're not even gonna discuss that right now because this is like hot mess express right now. Like look at all this stuff that's in here. I don't even wanna think about it, but eventually it will be functional and it'll be fine. But for today, it is most certainly not. So we're just gonna pretend that we don't need to think about that and we're just gonna walk the other way. So this is what the room is looking like and I am so excited to make it my own and decorate it and make it beautiful and then hopefully actually get to stay here and enjoy it for a very long time. <laughs> Okay, so that is what the classroom is looking like so far. Definitely leave me any ideas in the comments below or any tricks or tips for how I can make this classroom the best it can possibly be. So that way when my classroom is ready to be set up, I am also ready to set it up. And I'm just super excited to, yeah, make this space my own and be teaching second grade and just like all of the things. In case you haven't been following along with my channel, I've always wanted to teach K through two, but I've been in upper grades. And so this is my first year that like I'm just so, extremely excited about the grade that I'm gonna be teaching and so I wanna stay here for a very long time. So I'm crossing my fingers, that is the hope. But yes, I'm excited to just have this be maybe my not forever classroom, I'm sure, but like my classroom for more than a year because I've moved every single year so far. So yes, hopefully I will get to enjoy this classroom for many years to come and my students will as well. So anyways, I think I'm gonna take off. I do want to run to Play-Dohs and then a couple other places. I might go back to Target again today. Oh, I did get a couple things from Target yesterday. So let me grab those and I'll share those with you. So I found this really cool pocket tent and I actually hadn't seen this posted on like Instagram or anything yet, but I posted it yesterday and a couple people told me that they got the same one. So this is really cool. It's just like a pocket tent thing, but then it is dry erase on the front and they also sell some really cool inserts. So I bought two different sets of inserts. One of them are like graphic organizers. So this one right here is like graphic organizers and this was only $3, here's the front and then the back looks like that. And then this one is more like math related. So it has a multiplication table on one side and then 10 frames on the other side. And then there's a bunch that are included. So let's see if I can show you what's included. I don't know how well you'll be able to see this, but for the math one, all of these different charts are ex included in there. So all of these different charts are included inside, which is awesome. And for $3, I thought that was a steal of a deal. So I got that one. And then let me show you on the other one. So here are all of the different ones that are included in this pack.
and I think there might have been a third pack as well but these were the two that stood out to me that I thought I would use a lot so I'll probably just have that live like on my back table and just have it be like an extra space to use with my students so I'm excited for that and that seemed like something that's actually like useful from the Target dollar spot I'm trying to avoid just buying like a bunch of junk so yes I am excited to have that and I think I'm just gonna stick this in my back room while I'm here perhaps or maybe I'll stick it up here somewhere I don't know exactly but before I go I want to take a couple pictures for Instagram too so I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna skedaddle so I will see you when I see you okay so I just went to a couple stores my Play-Doh's order is like all done now so I need to head back there next but I want to show you what I got so I went to five below and I got this super cute little like balloon cake topper thing with the two on it I figured maybe I'll use it for something somewhere along the line now that I'm teaching second grade I thought it would be fun for like a little photo op and it was only I think a dollar so I thought that was super cute and then also I just picked up a lint roller so not super exciting but something that I just wanted to leave in the car for when I need it then I went to Michael's and they have 70% off of all of their clearance right now, which I thought was such a good deal. So I got this super cute H, which is kind of like a rattan. Is that how you say it? Rattan? I'm not really sure, but it's like the cool like basket weave. And I want to say this was like $7.50 maybe or $6. I can't remember. It was like somewhere between $6 to $8, but I thought it was super cute. And at first this one was all by itself and I thought it was very fitting since it was an H, but then I ended up finding a bunch of other ones too. But yeah, super cute. So originally $25 so whatever 30% of that is don't want to do the math in my brain then I also got this super cute little like photo album brag book they call it this was in the front section where they have stuff for like a dollar or two dollars so this was two dollars this was not on sale but I just got it because I figured I would print some pictures from my trip and then put them into this little book and I thought that would be really fun to like look back on and then I also got this really cute hanging wall art and it didn't have a price tag or anything on it So I don't know how much it was originally but I think it rang up at like seven dollars I want to say and it was the only one like it so she had to like go and look it up So I felt kind of bad, but I also said I'm like if it's too much trouble I really don't need it and she was like no, it's okay And so anyways, I think this will be really fun just as like wall art And also I was thinking it'd be kind of cool if you like stuck pictures or like affirmations even like kind of coming down I thought that could be really cute. So yeah, I'm excited to have this one just kind of like boho and fun I don't really have like a classroom theme I just keep everything really neutral and then add a couple new things every year and so this year the stuff that I'm adding kind of has more of like a boho type vibe but I'm not really like changing my theme to boho if that makes sense like I'm still gonna have all my old stuff I'm just kind of adding in some new pieces that are a little bit more like a boho type vibes and then the last thing I got I'm super excited about it's this like basket I feel like there's a name for this um, no, it doesn't say, but originally this was $15, so I want to say this was like $4.50, and I think it's so cute. They had a bunch of them. I really debated getting multiples of them, but I wasn't exactly sure what I was going to use it for, so I thought that would be silly, but I really like it. So, and I had like so many other things I could have bought as well, like they had just so many cute things. So, really excited about that, and then also I swung by Target really quick because I actually went there yesterday. <laughs> I think I told you earlier in this video, but yeah, I went yesterday and I tried on this dress and I didn't get it. And I got so many messages of people being like, you should have gotten it, it's so cute. And I looked online and they didn't have it. So I went back and got it in store. It is super cute. I'll insert like a little clip of me wearing it right now, but it was $25 and yeah, it's really cute. I wasn't exactly sure like when I would wear it, but then a bunch of people messaged me and they're like, you could wear it here, you could wear it here and stuff like that. So thank you guys for encouraging me to get this. It is super cute so glad I have that and then I had to pick up a card while I was there as well and I got a diet coke which is exciting all right now I need to head over to grab my play-doh's order so I'm gonna go do that and then I will see you at some point I need to be at my in-laws house in about two hours a little bit less than two hours so yes I don't know exactly when I'll see you but hopefully at some point Okay, so now it is Sunday and I just spent a little bit of time like you guys saw in the past couple clips sketching out what I'm gonna do on some of the bulletin boards in my classroom. So I wanted to share this with you. It's a very rough sketch, I will warn you, but eventually what I'll do is take this and then 
move it over to PowerPoint and then make like a digital copy of what I want my bulletin boards to look like. And I know it's like kind of extra to do that and kind of silly, but I've been doing it every year and it definitely helps in like classroom setup time and helps me to visualize what the boards will look like. So that way I don't spend a ton of time like putting stuff on and then taking it off and trying to get it just right. So I actually got this idea my very first year of teaching. I'm pretty sure from my friend Maylene. I want to say she has a video on her channel on how you can use PowerPoint to create a digital copy of your classroom. So if I can find that, I will link it below for sure. But this is my step one. So this is just taking my notebook and then sketching some things out. Very rough sketches, but that's okay. So the one bulletin board that's by my desk, I still do not know what to do with. So if you have any ideas for that board, definitely let me know in a comment below because I'm just like not really sure what to put there. I know it's going to be covered a little bit and so I don't want to put anything that I like need students to see. And so anyways, I'm just like not sure about that one. So that's why that one is blank. But then I'm going to turn that little off white whiteboard into a bulletin board like I mentioned and that will be the schedule and then a couple of those magnetic space racks will be on there as well. Then this is the far board that will be by my little like book nook that I've shared. So I think I'm going to have that be a writing board and then here will be like a focus station. So I'll have like chart paper right there and then that will switch out depending on what I'm teaching. Then this right here is the heating element that I shared and I think I'm going to have this be my goal board and then I can use magnets to put up our learning targets. Then I want to have half of the back whiteboard be a wonder wall like I mentioned and I think I'm going to do the wonder letters on paper plates like pretty paper plates and anyways you'll see it once we get there but yeah that's the plan for that. Sound wall I am planning on and I will insert a couple pictures right now from Google of sound wall so you can kind of get a feel for what that might look like. I do kind of want to create my own so I can have it be kind of pretty and the colors that I like. And also I'm not going to put this all up at the beginning of the year. I'm going to just put like the header on. And then as I teach the students the different sounds, then we'll put them up together and kind of like work on it together. So like I'll have it all ready to go, but I won't actually put the pieces on except for the title at the top. Then this is the back of the room. So again, I just have a small group whiteboard that I wanna leave as just like whiteboard space right here, but I might put a little label on it, we'll see. This is my desk right here, and I might buy a new comfy chair, we'll see what happens, because the desk is pretty low, or like the um, back small group table is pretty low, and I would like to have like a comfortable chair because I spend a lot of time at my small group table. So I might get a new comfy chair, we will see. And then Wonder Wall right here, again, definitely read that book that I recommended or listen to the audiobook, I believe it is on Audible, and I really, really enjoyed it. So Wonder Wall, I'm planning on back there. I did get a bunch of baskets, so I'm gonna do a basket wall, and I think I am leaning towards having the affirmation station be on that back like door that leads to the other second grade classroom. And then this is another bulletin board. This will be the one above the sink, so I'm gonna do wow work there. And then this is the little bulletin board above the mailboxes. So I'm gonna have important information posted, and then I'm going to have our lunch menu right there. So like the monthly lunch menu, so that way if kids wanna see it, they can just take a peek, and that will be right above their mailboxes. So that's the game plan. That's what I'm working on in my little notebook and just kind of making a plan for my classroom, and I really enjoy it. I want to emphasize, though, like you definitely do not have to have a decorated classroom for you to be a great teacher and for your students to be so happy and honestly like I just enjoy it and that's why I do it I don't decorate a ton around my house like our house is very like minimalistic and we just don't have a ton of decorations that's kind of like my husband he prefers just like super minimal and I like to decorate and so anyways my classroom is like my outlet for decorating and changing it up and just having fun and I love like taking pictures in my classroom and posting them on Instagram and stuff like that and so it is just like my kind of self-expression place and my creative space to do what I wish so that's why I spend so much energy and time on decorating my classroom but I also make sure I read a lot of professional development books and I participate in a bunch of PLCs and I definitely think that those things are more important than classroom decoration so buying stuff from the target dollar spot is not going to make you a better teacher however participating in like a plc or reading a pd book or listening to podcasts or whatever might help you become a better teacher so i just really want to emphasize that i don't want you guys to think that just because i'm like spending so much time setting up my classroom or like preparing to set up for my classroom that you need to do the same it is seriously like totally up to you and if it makes you so happy and you want to do it then i say go for it but it's definitely not necessary so i just really want to emphasize that because 
I know some, especially like first year teachers can see setup videos and be like, oh my gosh, I need to do it all. But I've collected a lot of things throughout the years. And I think I mentioned earlier in this vlog, I just like collect a few more things every summer. And I just like, you know, switching it up just a little bit. Anyways, I think that is gonna be the end of this vlog. I really hope that you enjoyed it. And I do want to share some footage with you from my trip at the very end right here. So if you made it all the way until the end of the vlog and you would like to watch that little bit of footage, I will go ahead and insert that right now and leave you with that. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoy these couple clips and I will see you in the next vlog. Bye. We went to Cape Cod for our trip. So I went with my husband and then one of my best friends and her husband, and it was seriously so much fun. We ended up staying in South Yarmouth, which is located on the Cape, and we stayed at the All Seasons Resort, and we were really happy with it. It was very affordable, and also there was a ton of stuff to do there. So you'll see there was an indoor and outdoor pool, and then a jacuzzi, and we just had a ton of fun like hanging out by the pool when we were given the opportunity to do so. Most of the time, we were doing other stuff, but it was nice that we had a nice hotel to go home to. And like I said, it was really affordable for like the location and all the amenities. And so I definitely would recommend. We also went to the Chatham Fishing Pier one day, and this was by far my favorite part of the whole trip. We did a ton of other stuff too, but honestly, I just didn't really take a ton of videos, but I did have to get videos from this because it was so cool just seeing so many seals hanging out and just like being silly and living their best lives. Oh my gosh, it was so much fun just seeing them. And I absolutely loved this. A subscriber actually told me about this and she suggested that we go here and so we ended up going to Chatham and we walked around downtown we went to the lighthouse we went to the ocean and then we went to the fishing pier and it was just perfect I absolutely loved it and I would highly highly recommend so that was my trip like I said I didn't take a ton of photos but I had a ton of fun I got to meet a couple of my YouTube friends while I was there too in Boston this is Tay from Chronicles of Teacher Tay and then my friend Nisha and it was a blast so I definitely recommend going to the East Coast if you've never been. It is gorgeous.